Hi there. So uh, we can play uh, one, four, five tunes like uh, on the ukulele pretty, pretty easily, especially if they're in a key that we're comfortable with. And so I have this, um, I'm working with a student on Promised Land, and that uses an A, like so, it uses a D, and it uses an E. Uh, so to play the more kind of, I guess we call it a blues or a rock kind of a, a progression for this, uh, we basically go to the one, uh, the five, the six, and the flat seven. So how that manifests itself here is uh, like so. So hold your A, second finger on the second fret of the G string, first finger on the uh, first fret of this uh, C string, right? Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my third finger to get the, all the fancy stuff happening here. So I'm going to put that on the, just play that, oh, oh, that play the um, E string open. Then I'm going to play my F sharp, right? Sec, uh, set its third finger on the second fret of the E string, and then pinky finger on the third fret of the E string. Then lift that up, pinky finger up, also on the E string. So I've got my second finger's down, and now uh, E string is open. So how that sounds like this is: here's with the uh, all fingers up, and here's with the second finger on the second fret of the E string, and pinky finger on the third fret of the E string. Now when I play that rhythmically, it sounds like this. kind of cool. What's, what's happening is here is a, it's a basically a power chord with the 5, 6, and flat 7 uh, happening. Uh, so, and playing that rhythm. Bum, bum, bum. idea, but I'm going to play my D. Uh, now normally um, uh, this would be a D6, right? But I'm not going to worry so much about the note that's under the A string. I'm really only thinking about playing the uh, the G string, uh, the C string, and uh, the, maybe a little bit of the E string. So uh, so I'll go with uh, one finger down, covering all the second uh, frets of the G string, the E string, and the uh, uh, G string, e, uh, C string, and E string. And then I'm going to alternate, same as I did with the, uh, with the A, I'm going to alternate on the D. So I'm adding my third finger. So everybody's on the second fret here, right? First finger in the second fret. And now uh, third finger is going to go on the fourth fret. Pinky finger is going to go on the fifth fret. This is all on the G string. to the A, of course, right? And now I've got one more uh, chord, and that's my E chord, which is the 5 uh, for the A. So I'm going to do the same thing as I did with the D. Hold down uh, the, on the 4th fret all through these strings. I'm not worried about the fact that I'm holding that 4th that, uh, fret of the, uh, of the A string down. It doesn't really matter. It's just convenient for me. So I'm not going to play it, but I'm holding it down with one finger. And then I'm going to use the same uh, fingers, 3rd and 4th finger, to get the uh, alternate between the uh, five and six, and how that manifests in this chord is my uh, fourth fret, and then third finger goes down on the sixth fret, and then pinky finger goes down on the seventh fret. So if we're going to play the whole thing together, it might sound something like this. some fun with this. Uh, ukulele is a lot more versatile than you probably think it is. And uh, if, you, if you're just strumming, look, there's nothing wrong with just strumming. Uh, but there's you can get a lot of juice out of this thing, let me tell you, if you just open your mind a little bit. So, um, so have some fun, and I'll talk to you soon.